in my dream, I also saw seven heads of grain, full and beautiful, growing on a single stalk. But then, seven more heads of grain appeared. They were diseased and all withered up, and the seven diseased heads of grain swallowed the seven healthy heads. I told these dreams to all of my best magicians and wise men. But not one of them could tell me what my dreams mean. I am told that you have the gift of interpreting dreams. So, is this true? My king, I don't have that kind of power within me. But God will give you the answer you're looking for. Both of the dreams mean the same thing. God has given Pharaoh a preview of what is going to happen. The seven fat cows and seven healthy heads of grain both represent seven years of abundant harvest in Egypt. The seven skinny cows and the seven withered heads of grain represent seven years of famine that will follow. God has warned you in advance so that you can find a wise man to put him in charge of the entire land of Egypt to collect a portion of crops during the good years and put them in storehouses so that there will be enough food in Egypt during the bad years. Well, since your God is obviously with you, and since he has blessed you with this wisdom, then who could possibly be more qualified than you? I'm putting you in charge of all of my business. I am still Pharaoh, but from now on, no one in Egypt will even lift a finger to do anything unless you say so. Then Pharaoh gave him a wife, Asenath, the daughter of an Egyptian priest, and she gave birth to two sons. Manasseh, because the Lord has helped me to forget all the trouble of my father's family. And Ephraim, because the Lord has made me fruitful in this land. All of Egypt was fruitful under Joseph's leadership. During the seven years of abundance, Joseph collected so much grain in the storehouses that they stopped trying to even count how much they were bringing in. But after seven years, just as Joseph had predicted, a terrible famine struck Egypt and all the countries around it. Our great king, we are starving, and there is no grain to make bread. You are the giver of life to all of Egypt. Please, help us. Go to Joseph. He is in charge of all of my storehouses. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. I have heard that there is grain for sale in the land of Egypt, so I am sending you all there tomorrow, except for Benjamin. I have already lost one son. I can't stand to lose the other one. How many are in your family? Three. Take four bags of grain. Next. How many are in your family? Three, my lord. Take four bags of grain. Thank you, Lord Joseph. You have saved us all. Next! Look, Father. Those men aren't Egyptian. How many are in your family? Four. Next. My brothers. Manasseh. Run back to the house, please. I have some things to attend to. How many are in your family? Twelve sons. Twelve. Who are you? We are from the land of Cana, and we have come to buy food. Oh, Father. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't do this! You haven't come to buy food. You are spies. You are coming to see if there are any weak parts of our land where you can attack. No, my lord. We are brothers. The sons of one man, Jacob. We were actually twelve in total, but we left our youngest brother at home with our father. And there was one other brother who is no longer alive. From a family in Canaan, huh? Prove it to me. If you are telling the truth, then go. Take the grain back to your family. But one of you will remain in my prison until you return. And you will return with your youngest brother. I knew this would happen. It's because of what we did to Joseph. And now we're being punished for our sin. Guards, take this one away. Go now. Take your grain back to your family. But come back to me and bring your youngest brother, or every one of you will die. No, absolutely not. I have already lost Joseph. Benjamin is all that I have left. Father, the man said clearly that if we don't bring our youngest brother with us, that he will know that we are spies and all of us will die. Why did you have to tell him that you had another brother? Oh, we are starving. There is nothing else I can do. Take him and go. And may God have mercy on you all. Bring the men inside and prepare a big feast. I am going to eat with them today. Is your father still alive? Yes, my lord. Our father is alive and well. And this is your youngest brother, the one you told me about. May God be gracious to you and bless you. Father's not going to believe it when he sees all this grain. I mean, just look at it. At least we have grain. He had me worried for a second. Put my golden cup in the sack of the youngest one. Stop the car. You're coming back with us. One of you is a thief. What? No, we're no, we're not thieves. We'll have to see about that. One of you has stolen my royal cup. We will search your bags, and the one who has it will become my slave. The rest of you will be free to go. This one will stay here to serve me. The rest of you can go home to your father. Oh my lord, please. When you sent us to bring the boy, our father said that he has already lost one son whom he loves. He can't lose another. If anything happens to him, it'll send him to his grave. Everyone, out of the room. Leave me alone with these men. Joseph. Joseph? Joseph? I am Joseph, your brother who you sold into slavery. Come closer to me. Could, could you ever forgive us? Don't worry. It was God who brought me here. He sent me before you so that he could save our family from this terrible famine. Brothers, I am so happy to see you. Joseph!
Hurry! Go and tell our father that I am alive, and that God has made me master over the whole land of Egypt. Tell him that God has shown me there will be five more years of famine. Bring the whole family. You can live in the land of Goshen. I will take care of you. Father? Joseph. My blessed son, Joseph! Father! Oh, Father. <laughs> <laughs> My brothers, you intended to kill me. But it was God who brought me here, so that he could give you life. He has been with me for every moment, and he has put me in this position in order to keep the promise that he made to our father Jacob, to his father Isaac, and to his father Abraham that he would bless this people, that he would multiply us and make us into a great nation. And one day, he will take us back to the land he promised us. He will be our God, and we will be his people. And through us, he will bless all the families of the earth. <laughs>